Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the E5R from PowerTac, a nice size EDC light. Gonna give you up to a thousand lumens and it does work off one 18650 battery. Let's look at some of the specs and then we'll show you what it looks like in use. Here's a quick look at the light in the box. As you can see, they are recommending it for military, law enforcement, outdoor and everyday carry use. I mentioned before, a thousand lumens. It is USB rechargeable and they have a no hassle lifetime warranty for this light. Here's a look at everything you get when you order the light. You're gonna get the actual flashlight, which does come with an 18650 PowerTac battery included. You're gonna get a holster for the light, which is not amazing, but it definitely gets the job done. Uh, you're gonna get your charging cord, which is a micro USB into a full size USB. You're gonna get a lanyard, the extra O-ring, and then you can also see your power adapter. So you can plug the power cord into the adapter, into the wall, and then obviously into the flashlight. Here's a look at the light in the holster, and you can see, just lift this up, and you can take the light out quite easily, and then uh, slide it back in. You do have elastic on the two sides of the holster, so as you can see here, when you put it in, you want to make sure that you either get that clip over the edge of the elastic, or turn it so that the clip is actually safely inside the actual holster. And here's a look at the light actually in my pocket, just using the pocket clip. Lift this up, take the light out, you can turn it on and off and then replacing it into the pocket. That's what that looks like. Operation for the PowerTech ER5 is very simple. You're gonna depress your end switch and you can see it's now on at that lowest setting. And then using your selector switch up here, you're gonna scroll up to your highest setting and then it's gonna to go to strobe. So this is basically your lowest firefly or moonlight setting. And then here's level two, three, four, and then here's strobe and then back down to the lowest setting. Now, if you wanna go directly to strobe at any time, regardless of what setting it's on, so let's say it's on the third setting, if you just hold down this light or this switch, it's gonna go directly to strobe anytime. So the light is on, you wanna to go to strobe, depress your selector switch and hold it down, and there's strobe, depress it again, and it goes back to that low setting. Let's take this thing out into the night and use it. Okay, for our first test, I'm actually out here in the backyard. I'm visiting my mom for Thanksgiving in New York State and we're gonna run through the different settings of this light. Looking at the house, I'm about 65 feet away from it. Right now we're at the Firefly setting, which is 0.49 lumens. I'm shining it at the house. I can barely pick up some reflection uh, with the human eye, but you really can't see anything on the camera. Let's go up to 134 lumens. And you can definitely see that lights up that back porch quite well. And shining it right there at the back porch, I can see, I would say, probably about 70% of the house. I can see all the way over down to kind of the lower section of the patio. So that, once again, is 134 lumens. Let's go up to 594 lumens now. That's that third setting, and obviously getting even better light here, really lighting up the, the back porch well, and then up to 1,000 lumens. Don't see a huge leap between the 594 and the 1,000, but I'm lighting up the whole thing now. If I shine this over, like right there, I could basically see the entire house from end to end. And let's go to the strobe setting. And then back down, we'll cycle through one more time. So Firefly, nothing. 134, 594, 1000, and then here comes Strobe. Here's a look at the light from about 35 feet away and shining back at the camera. We're gonna scroll through the different settings from that Firefly setting all the way up to the top and then Strobe as well. Okay, so I'm outside now and I wanna give basically another real life application for this light. So um, my car is on, let's say I get out of the car and I'm gonna be going inside to the house to check something out. So I've got the light on and now you can see as I look, I've got it on the lowest setting. So I'm able to, you know, if I was out at the car, I didn't wanna give a lot of light in the neighborhood or light, uh, light up the house, the yard, wake up the neighbors. I could certainly get around, you know, looking down at the tire there. Let's go up to the next setting as we come around the back of the car here. Here's our next setting. So as you can see, I look over to the steps, Let's look over to the walkway and the steps, I can see that just fine as I start looking around, you know, the edge of the house. Let's say I'm walking along the side here and I want to see is anybody in the side yard. Even at this uh, second setting, I can see quite well. There it is at the third setting. Certainly no one's going to be hiding over there. I'll show you the front yard now. Yep, and it's, everything's very well lit. This is on the third setting, up to the fourth setting. I'm walking over here, you can see front steps, looking back to the car. 
and then you know let's say somebody started sneaking up on me from the uh, from out in the driveway here boom just go into the strobe setting so again a real life application here this light gives me everything I need from you know being very subtle right next to the car and then lighting up the entire yard here quite well let's wrap up now talking about the PowerTac ER5 uh, downsides to this light at this point I don't have any honestly a um, couple things I do like about it solid pocket clip I do like the actual texture of it it's a little rougher than some of the other lights that I've used that are this size and it just gives me more control I like that it's got the end pressure switch and then it's got the adjuster up here as far as your different modes uh, lots of different outputs from a very low output to a very high output um, the fact that it's USB rechargeable is a win. I just mentioned in another video I did recently, and more and more companies are going that direction, and I just think that's smart. You know, it just makes the whole charging, recharging process a lot easier. The light can tail stand. You have those two flattened out sides, and you can see I put my hat on. The reason is, if you swap out the clip from up here to here, and you put it so it's facing the end cap, now you can actually run it as a headlamp. Now it's gonna be a little bit heavier than obviously what most people would want for a, a headlamp but in a situation where you really needed both hands free you could set it up that way as well i have used other lights this size uh, in particular i think about the phoenix pd35 tac and i like that one it offers you a lot more options than this one but the simplicity of this light is just a really big plus for me so with this one it's like press the end cap scroll through and you're good to go and then obviously the fact that you can recharge it with that usb does make that really easy to do in a variety of different locations or settings so the er5 from power attack definitely getting a thumbs up from us this will be part of my everyday carry system for the next handful of months it's been in the system it's going to continue in the system and i'll report back to you and tell you about long-term use i want to encourage you to check out those links below and you can head over to Amazon if you want to pick up one of these. And if you have one or other products from PowerTech, let's hear in the comments, uh, what do you think about them? What do you like about them? What are changes you'd like to see them make? Let's get that conversation started. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.